Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. My name is Bill Crowder, and I entitled today's reading, At Home in Jesus. There's no place like home, says Dorothy, clicking the heels of her ruby slippers. In The Wizard of Oz, that was all it took to magically transport Dorothy and Toto from Oz back to their home in Kansas. Unfortunately, there aren't enough ruby slippers for everyone. Although many may share Dorothy's longing for home, finding that home, a place to belong, is sometimes easier said than done. One of the consequences of living in a highly mobile, transient world is a sense of detachment, wondering if we'll ever find a place where we truly belong. This feeling may also reflect a deeper reality expressed by C.S. Lewis. If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. The night before the cross, Jesus assured his friends of that home, saying in John 14, 2, My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? A home where we are welcomed and loved. Yet we can be at home now, too. We're part of a family, God's church, and we live in community with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Until the day Jesus takes us to the home our hearts long for, we can live in His peace and joy. We're always home with Him. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 7. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Let's pray. God of love and grace, help us to look forward to being at home with you in your presence forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening today. My name is Bill Crowder, and today's encouragement has been provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.